How to set up IPVanish IKF2 connection on Windows 10. The following are required to set up an IKF2 connection on Windows 10, a secure IPVanish VPN connection, don't have one? Sign up here. A working connection to the internet. A computer running Windows 10. Do the following to set up IKF2 on Windows 10, 1. Open Windows settings menu from the Windows icon on the bottom left of your device as shown below. 2. Select network and internet option from the settings menu. 3. Select the VPN tab on the left side of the network and internet menu. 4. Click on the add a VPN connection button below VPN. 5. Provide the details as follows, VPN provider, Windows, built-in. Connection name, Ipanish underscore server name. Server name or address, select your preferred server from our server list. E.g., lana01.vpn. ipvanish.com. You can use any server from our server list. Ensure to add .vpn between the server, lana01, and .ipvanish.com. VPN type, IKF2. Type of sign-in info, username and password. Username, ipvanish underscore username. Password, ipvanish underscore password. Click the save button to save the setup. 6. Navigate back to the VPN click change adapter options listed below related settings. 7. You will be redirected to the network connections find the IKF2 connection you established and right click it. Select properties networking IPv4 properties advanced and check the use default gateway on remote network box. 8. Click OK and close the network connections window. 9. Click the connect button to connect the IKF2 VPN connection from your VPN settings window. 10. You will see a connected message below your preferred server as shown below. Navigate to https colon slash slash www.ipvanish.com slash check ip.php in your browser to confirm that you are connected to IPVanish and your IP has changed. If you see an error, authentication failed because of an error in the certificate that the client uses to authenticate the server, revisit IKF2 setup in step 7 in network connections properties and uncheck IPv6 in the networking tab. Try reconnecting IPVanish again. If you need any further assistance, please contact IPVanish support team.